grand rise and shine from your divine mind. Greetings of peace and love on this moon day. Okay, the moon is uh, Cancer's, you know, energy. And it rules the number two. Two, dealing with balance, uh, uh, unity, that duality, right? And Cancer being the fourth house, the house of family and home, which, i.e., stability, all right? We know that Cancerian energy is the mother energy. Okay, Cancer is the most loving zodiac sign and the nurturer, okay, that's the mother. So, you know, she thrives to bring love and nurture and stability to her home. Her home is her sanctuary, okay. Uh, masculine or feminine. Their home is their sanctuary, <laughs> okay? And uh, cancer is the Kalima energy, okay? Kalima protects her children, all right? And um, by any means necessary, you see? So that's where cancer protective energy, they have that protective energy. They're very protective over their family, okay? The family unit is very important to Cancerians, right? So today being June 10th, 2024, so we're on another 10, which is the number one, okay? The New Beginnings Energy. All right, and if we add all of that up, the six to ten in 2024, we get 24, right? And then four and a, uh, the four and the two is a six, so six is dealing with um, harmony, it's dealing with stability, okay? All right, so. I've been getting a lot of readings, pulling a lot of energy that is focusing on the throat chakra, speaking up, okay, speaking out. So this is a very important time to use your heka and speak up, okay, speak out but we want to speak the truth, okay? We want to uh, speak up, stand on truth, speak truth, and be truth, no matter what, no matter who tries or what tries to stop you or try to punish you for speaking up and standing up, okay? That's where the true liberty is. That's where the true justice starts right there. Creating that balance, speaking out and exposing, okay, the fraud, exposing the facades, the false mask, and all those things, the lies, the deceit, the betrayal, okay? So that's been coming out a lot. So at this time, and we're, you know, still in the uh, Gemini energy, dealing with communication, which is Mercury, you know, it's very important to do this right now, okay? But not just, it's beyond the Gemini energy, okay? So, yeah, no matter... Who tries to stop you? Because if you're standing on truth and speaking on truth, and there are people that are trying to stop you, trying to hurt you in some fashion, shape, or form, 
to silence you, then those people are going to get dealt with, okay? That is uh, an abomination spiritually and physically, okay? On the spiritual realm and the physical realm. It's against law, okay? So they have that to deal with if they're trying to do that to someone. However, never mind them, okay? You stand on truth and you speak it. And you will get the great abundant rewards for doing that. If you know of truth and you're sitting on that truth, and you're being silent to protect someone that has harmed another, you are going to also have to deal with that. You're going to be have to be accountable for doing that. That is also a form of betrayal. Okay? In deceit and fraud. So you will go down with that person that you're covering up for. Know that, right? We're in the age of knowing. We're in the age of, you know, uh, secrets being revealed. It's inevitable. Okay, I've been getting that a lot too about secrets coming out and being exposed. So we've been seeing that, right? As above, so below. But however, this here, um, the first card that, came out was the Three of Pentacles, okay? So the Three of Pentacles is dealing with uh, our material possessions, with the Pentacles. Um, the Three is dealing with creation, abundance, okay? But the Three of Pentacles, so it's dealing with some type of uh, collaboration um, in some fashion, shape, or form. Um, maybe dealing with... Um, you know, building something, creating something. Um, and then following that, the page of pentacles came out, okay? So our um, page of pentacles is, um, is, is, you know, the being practical, okay? Prosperous, adventurous. Also, again, we're dealing with that material wealth. So we're dealing with foundation, security, stability, right? So with this backpack on her, this is a student, okay? Uh, open to possibilities, open to new, fresh ideas. And she's going to take that and she's going to nurture that with that pentacle she's holding up. She's taking it and saying, how can I nurture this? And she's finding a way. She's building. She's going to build on that pentacle. And this is where this collaboration comes in at. So whatever and whoever she's collaborating with, she's going to nurture that thing. Okay? She's going to make real solid plans to get tangible results, okay? This is her acting on her dreams, okay? This is her getting things in motion. We have a chariot right here that came out next, so this is victory, okay? Um, this is success right here. This is overcoming obstacles right here, okay? So this collaboration and her being open to this and her being trustworthy, and uh, being effective is going to allow movement, moving forward, okay, to have control over her life, her stability. When at one point there was a lack of control, okay, and This is her taking a realistic approach, okay? Using her common sense, using her, um, also her 
uh, intuitive sense, okay, in finding solutions that work and bring uh, forth stability and abundance for all involved. Okay, this is growth and expansion here. Right. This is security. So this collaboration is a stable one. One that can be trusted. Okay. This page of pentacles has taken this pentacles and She's going to stick by her commitments, uh, her word, and she's going to prove herself dependable and establish credibility with this collaboration here. Mm -hmm. So this interaction is one of trust, commitment, stability, safety is safe, and it addresses material needs, material success. So, after that, the Two of Cups came out with the tower. And so, this tower is representation of sudden, sudden change. Okay, quick and sudden action. And that's what this collaboration is going to bring. This Two of Cups is meaning that it's a balanced connection, okay? It's a balanced collaboration, but it's going to be so sudden and it's going to be so quick, okay? And surprising, okay? That it's going to create this for movement, okay? This victory and success here with the chariot. Now, these were all the cards that were um, clarifying the Three of Pentacles with the Chariot, the Two of Cups, and uh, our Tower here. Okay. So, that's going to be the surprise. Okay, this collaboration. That's going to bring a major, major, major shift. So, going over here to the Page of Pentacles and its clarifiers here with the Five of Cups came out. So, with this Five of Cups, it's dealing with regret is dealing with lost and with all these pentacles this is lost of your material stability okay however it was lost whether this was a uh, orchestration you know collaboration for someone to put you in this this lost of stability but this is a loss of stability here, okay? This was a setback. And yeah, this was a uh, taking 
of your possessions, your material stability. Okay. And this was a regret, you know, energy here. But she has these three cups that are, you know, knocked over, but then she had two standing behind her. So with lost, we have an opportunity to set up new beginnings. Okay. And all she has to do is know that all is not lost. And the longer we stay in this soak, sulking energy, the harder we will make it for ourselves. Okay. So it's okay to be in those feelings, in those emotions, energy in motion, but be aware of it. Okay. Identify it. And then deal with it to be able to move forward and turn that thing into a triumph. Okay, this is triumph over obstacles with the chariot right here. And take those two cups and nurture it and create something, build something. This page of pentacles energy. And that's exactly what happened. So this pentacle was taken and there was an abundance of wealth created, okay? There was a lot of work put in, okay, with this eight of pentacles, mastery and focus, unrelentless focus, okay? To build, rebuild. your wealth and create stability for not only yourself, but for your posterity, right? So then the King of Pentacles here, now, This King of Pentacles, this is uh, Taurus energy, the bull, okay, ruled by the planet Venus, the planet of love and grace and beauty, okay, and so that's exactly what you created for yourself with grace. And beauty. Okay. You create a stability. Well. Generationally. Okay. You kept the commitment. You repaired something that was broken. Okay. With the five of cups. And then the death card here. Okay. See, you went to a death and rebirth, this five of cups. You see, this black and this black here. This was your death and rebirth coming out of this energy. Coming out of this energy at the bottom of the deck, the eight of swords. Being stuck, feeling stuck, okay? Feeling like you had a lack of freedom and choice. At least that's what. was planned for you, what was wanted for you. You to be blind, you to be bound in every obstacle. These eight swords was to hinder you, keep you bound, okay? Keep you imprisoned, okay? And make you think that you had no choice. So you were stuck in a situation that was created for you. Okay. 
That's what was wanted for you. But you came out of that. And you said, no, absolutely not. That's dead. And I'm going to transform that energy. And with the 13, reduce it down to a four. That's exactly what you did with that being the emperor. So you took leadership and authority over your own life and accountability, okay? Because we have authority over our own lives, not somebody else's. So how dare anyone think that they can interfere with somebody's private life and their family affairs? And you went on to your wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups being right there. Okay. And that was one, rebuilding your stability in your material wealth for your posterity. Because that's what it's all about. It's not about you. Okay. Yeah, it starts on an individual level because we got to work on the self on an individual level, this death and transformation, Scorpio energy, Pluto energy. But what is the long term? It has to go beyond that. The purpose has to be beyond that. And that's exactly what you do. So you created this King of Pentacles energy, which is fixing what was broken, making money, okay? This is creating a new enterprise. Now this is creating competence, Uh, reliability, stability. You know, this is the jack of all trades. This king of pentacles right here. Okay. He's responsible. And we're talking energy here now. And this is whatever the task, this King of Pentacles handles it competently, okay? Drawing from his wide range of skills and practical knowledge, all right? And this is what this page of pentacles was doing, holding this up, this pentacle, and deciding and thinking what can be done with it. How can they expand it? Okay. Others rely on this king of pentacles, okay, because he is dependable and he never fails, you know, his people. This King of Pentacles gives generously, okay? He give of his time. He give of his resources because he knows <laughs> universal law, the law of reciprocity, and by giving more, you receive more. He also encourages others in their accomplishments, okay? And supports them. His temperament is steady and even. Right? 
So, when he has set a goal, this king of pentacles energy, he pursues it with resolve until he reaches success. And that's exactly what has happened here. Okay. So we got 14 pentacles, which reduces down to the five pentacles. So that five of pentacles was that lack that he was put in, okay? His stability was stripped from him, okay? This king of pentacles. And like I said, it's only energy. I'm saying him just because it's a king of pentacles. But let's be open-minded, okay? This energy that we're speaking of. So... Their stability was taken from them, okay? A lot of things were taken from them, okay? Their basic needs was taken from them, their basic livelihood, okay? Uh, their family was taken from them, okay? Which with the Five of Pentacles is a card of uh, isolation, loneliness. So... The desire for this King of Pentacles was to be isolated from their family. Okay, now I've already told you the energy we were, we're in here with the cancer energy. So how important that is, okay, for this King of Pentacles. Family, stability, the family unit, creating a legacy generationally for your for their, for their posterity. So this five of pentacles also represented number five with change. Okay. And then with the cups, we got the um, seven. Okay, seven cups. With the two of cups and the five of cups, this gives us the seven of cups. So that's dealing with the options. Okay. The options. Because this... King of Pentacles is a jack of all trades. They have many skills and talents. Page of Pentacles. Okay. And then the seven here with the chariot. This tower is a 16, which reduces down to a seven, which is the, the chariot is the shadow card of this tower here. So we have seven, seven, which is 14. Okay, which is five again. Okay. So the chariot being seven, the tower being 16, um, yeah, give us 14, which is the five, okay. Um, having a lot of fives here. So with the five of pentacles, and then the five from the chariot and the tower, and then the five of cups, we have five, five, five. Okay, so there was a great change, okay, and um, with the five of pentacles and the five coming from the chariot and the tower and the five of cups gave us 15, okay, which the one is dealing with in the beginning is the five again is dealing with change. So this change, okay, brought new beginnings which is the 15 is a six, okay? Which in turn brought us harmony and stability. So there's new beginnings with this king of pentacles, stability, okay? And it's bringing in harmony. It's bringing in balance, okay? With the two of cups. Right? Yes. 
And then I just saw the emperor card right there. So they had to take a stand. Mm -hmm. You see the queen of cups. The queen of cups to me is the cancer. Okay, this is the mother energy. Okay, emotionally stable and loving and nurturing and caring. Okay, grounded emotionally and, you know, earthly realm, on a, you know, earthly realm. Mm -hmm. This four of pentacles. Uh, this ten of wands. Wow. So that is telling me that there were, and then we had the judgment right there. So there were people involved in creating the instability of this king of pentacles. Okay. All these swords, you know, betrayal. Okay. They wanted to end this king of, of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. I.e. queen of cups. And they wanted to do it on a foundational level. So they wanted to attack the stability, the root chakra. Okay. But there's judgment here. Okay. And there's also a tower here. And there's also death here. So we can also reference that to this sudden change, this abrupt change. Now, for the people that are on the other end of this, that created this, attacked and created this instability for this Queen of Cups. And this King of Pentacles energy. This tower is not going to be good for, for them. And it's the end for them. Judgment is here. This is karma. Okay. All right. This judgment was also a redemption for this Queen of Cups and this King of Pentacles energy. So this collaboration will also be that redemption. For them to be able to, you know, rebuild their foundation. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Justice will always be served. Justice will always be served. The wealth of the wicked, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. Now the say of cups, I'm feeling that in reverse as it came out. That this is what they took or attempted to take. Also, the law that this, this queen of cups, okay, had for themselves and their family their offsprings, their offspring, okay? They wanted them into this repetitive cycle of unrequited love. Hmm? Yeah. The Two of Cups. They wanted them blind. I say blind, deaf, and dumb. This is my blind, deaf, and dumb card in certain instances. Not using their intuition, okay? They wanted them to be in an emotional wreck, okay? And not be mind over matter. Not think logically. Be confused 
indecisive, not knowing which way to go. That's I'm picking up that whole eight of swords of energy again. Same thing. Okay. But no, they came out of that. Okay. Yeah. They came out of that. Four of Wands in reverse. <laughs> mm, they wanted to create the instability. That's what was attacked. The instability. Okay. Didn't want them to have protection. Wanted to create homelessness. Okay. For this Queen of Cups. Okay. But things are being balanced out now with the Six of Pentacles, stability, harmony. Things are being balanced out with this Queen of Cups now. Okay? Yes. Queen of Swords. Because she stood on truth, peace, love, freedom, and justice. And that's why I say it's important to speak up, speak out. Stand on truth, speak truth, be truth. Here go the empress down there. This is the empress we're talking to. Yes, this is the mother, divine mother. This is the matriarch right here we're speaking of. Hmm? They wanted to affect this empress' ability to create, to give love, receive love, and be love. The empress creates from the reproductive area, the womb, her womb. They wanted to affect her womb. This is mother of, yes, yeah, very intuitive, highly intuitive. This is inner wisdom. All that. Yes, be that. That's what this was. So that's why we have the tower here also in the depth. Justice, balance, harmony, ma'at, balancing the scales. It used to tap is make use. The star. We're dealing again with a whole star beam, okay? Nature, the Empress, the Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, okay? His nature, okay? Loving and abundant. Balanced with the earth. Saw the emperor card. Mm -hmm. The end. The end. The end. Eight of cups in reverse. The end. The end. The end. There's no more. No more. No more. No more action that's going to be able to be taken against this emperor, this empress, okay? That is the all the queens of the tarot deck. We saw the queen of uh, cups. We saw the queen of swords, all right? This king of pentacles energy, the emperor energy. There's no more action, okay? Adverse action, attacks, and betrayals. That's going to be able to be done. That's it. This is a cycle that has ended. The emperor is also here. Okay? The ten of swords. 
Okay, we got the five of pentacles. The cycle is over. Done. Dead. Because we have new beginnings here. With the wands, right? The number ones. New beginnings. That's what we're in. So there's no more. There's no more. There's an end to this. Okay? The dual card is what? In 2021, which reduces down to the three. That is the Empress. Okay? That's the number of expansion. That's Jupiter. Okay? The number of uh, the Emperor again here. And there's justice again there. All right? Yes. The number of creation. Yes. The page of pentacles. Yes. This collaboration. Yes. Rebuilding your stability. Rebuilding your stability. The imprints. Temperance. This temperance is balanced. Okay? Balanced. We have the 14 again. Okay, which reduces time to the five, which is the higher font, by the way. Okay, all right, yes, that's what you're dealing with here. We saw the high priestess. Okay, that's the energy you're dealing with when you're dealing with this empress, when you're dealing with the matriarch, when you're dealing with divine mother. Okay, the temperance card is balance. Okay, this is going within and doing the internal work that's needed to balance out the masculine and the feminine energy. Okay, yes, to balance out those aspects, just those internal aspects of herself. Okay, to create change. <laughs> Dealing with alchemy, alchemists as well. Okay, one foot on land, one foot in water. So balance emotionally, we saw that with the queen, the queen of cups, okay? And balanced on the earthly realm, right? Yes, you are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. I say, there is the magician right there, okay? The alchemist right there, yes. The Empress embodies all of that. All of that. Okay? Here we go with that Jupiter energy there. Okay? The Seven of Wands. Yes. Yeah. Standing on truth. Persevering. Fighting for what's right. This is that standing on truth. Speaking truth because you are truth. Ashe. Truth and clarity. They did this to the divine mother. You think there's not going to be any balance and justice being sought? Being, come on now. And then we got the King of Cups at the bottom there. Okay. The sun. Okay. Healing, happiness, things being revealed. Yes. Fulfillment. Blissfulness. <laughs> yes. Victory, being honored. Yes. You honor the Empress. You honor the Matriarch. You honor Divine Mother. Because she is worthy to be honored. 
and you defend her honor. You see how they defending her honor? Yes, a shame. We don't use and abuse the body and mother. That's stupid. That's stupid. Justice. No more need to be said. The stop. That's who you messed with. So now, <laughs> justice is overdue. Just compensation is overdue. And you're going to pay up in all forms. Because this was your doing. Your unjust doing. So now my act is here to collect. No matter what you try to do, no matter who you try to use to do it, no matter what technology you try to use, what system you try to use, it's going to backfire. Because my aunt is here. I share. I want to see scarcity mindset. Mm -hmm. It's a quartz. Sequoiat. Number 21, 2, 3. I just want to see if we can come out before I close this out. For the oracle messages. Divine lineage, the Holy Grail, and the ancestors, ancestors protect the Holy Grail. Number six, and also the root chakra, harmony and stability is being restored. Ashe, Ashe <laughs> to that. Mm -hmm. Cosmic power. Mm -hmm. This is divine masculine and divine feminine energy right there coming together. Yeah. Mm. Look at that truth. Yeah. The throat chakra. Speaking your truth, standing on truth, being the truth. Sheba, etheric chords, number nine, 27, nine, dealing with the heart space, number 36 is nine, so endings are here, endings are here, okay, queen of Sheba, secrets are revealed, Ashe, you heard me, <laughs> the cards don't lie. Now what? I shake, I shake, I shake. 